Okay, so this is a straight to the point video on what to do uh, with different consoles on Batisera that have different controls. Uh, for Nintendo 64, you had like all these yellow buttons, you had a Z trigger, you got a lot of buttons going on over here. Uh, for PlayStation, it looked like that, Super Nintendo like that, Xbox like that. There's an 8-bit deal, which is pretty much universal. And then sometimes arcades, you're pretty much limited to six or sometimes even eight buttons. And you know, the, the, like uh, this is running uh, NFL Blitz on Dreamcast. And I wanna set specific buttons that the Dreamcast controller had on something like this. I can't do it, right? So what what would I do? I, I enter the game and once I'm in the game, I could change some of the settings by holding select and pushing the south button. So this is the only controller that's actually connected, but in, on, on something like this, I would have to hold select and push the south button, which is that if you mapped it correctly. So what you wanna do is you want to go to uh, controls and you go to port one controls or whatever you know player it is and you highlight port one controls, you enter port one controls and then you pretty much, you can change specific buttons to be what you want them to be. So for example, uh, let's just say if I wanted this button to be my turbo, I would have to highlight that button, which is south, enter that, and then switch it to whatever whatever turbo is on Dreamcast. So if on Dreamcast, if it, if it was Y, I could set it to Y. And you could do that for all the other buttons and, uh, and you know, you could set up the controls how you want. So you could play it just like either the arcade or to set it on something like this or something like that to set it on something like this. So there's, there's other ways to do it. So I'm not gonna change anything because this is already set for me, but what I would normally do is hit back and you know, you pretty much hit back again. Or if you, if you wanna change other buttons, you do that, you hit back again, and then you do it to, you know, player two controls, player three, four, whatever. When you're done, it's very important that you go up to manage remap files. And if you want it to, I mean, this is, this is absolutely mandatory because if you want it to save for a specific game permanently, you do save game remap file, and then you enter that. If you wanted to, if you wanted for the entire console of Dreamcast, you would have to do save core remap file. Now that that's pretty much meaning we we switched our south button, so that that is now the Y button. So you could use turbo or whatever you know button you want to use. So once again, save game remap file saves it permanently for that specific game. Save core remap file saves it permanently for that entire console. So let's just say I wanted this button to be turbo and I switched only for NFL Blitz. I, I select save game remap file and then it saves it permanently. You go back, you go back one more time, you go, you go to the top, you hit resume, and then that would be your turbo and you could play just like how the arcade was set up or however you like, it's your preference.